All right, hello, hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. My name is Marnie Hernandez, and uh, you are now joining us for our Portugal Certificate Workshop. Yay! Um, wanted to shout out to Yasmin. She just finished her California training. The reason we do these is for the knowledge to learn, to help um, sell to our clients, right? Um, so we have all these different trainings. Um, we do them uh, three to four times a week. And we earn, besides the knowledge, we earn perks. We earn um, invites to special events. And Yasmin just, she said she completed her pack, uh, she completed it, received a package in the mail along with a $350 luggage voucher. So guys, um, do you have to attend live? No, you can attend um you can do these all on your own. Um, they're fun when we do them live because for one thing, you get asked questions. Um, if for any reason you have to jump off or whatever, um, we do record them. But um, yeah, they're fun when we do them together. A lot of times it's good because, you know, again, um, you, some of the agents have either been there or have knowledge or lived there and stuff. So it's cool to, to get their information, you know, and again, again, um, you know, getting to know the other agents and stuff. So, um, yeah, they're fun to do together. And um, but again, right here on our certificate list at the very top. Um, up here are all the training programs that you can go in and pre-register and then again you click here travel agent academy then you're going to find all these courses available okay um a lot of them we've done already some we have not okay um testimonials newest courses and again you can do them yourself or wait with then do them with us that's why i have the new list out okay all right, so let me get back to where I was, wherever I am. Here we go. All right, so this is Portugal, okay? Um, the list I just put in here, let me put it in here again. It is also in our incentive um, voucher group, okay? So let me go ahead and pull this list up again. Copy. So here's the total list. And here is my YouTube channel with all the trainings in that. Okay, guys, so again, we're here to help you. Um, if you can't finish it while you're with us, get in and finish them. As you see, um, you get gifts, you get programs, you get FAM trips. Yesterday we did AMA, um, AMA, if they consider it AMA waterways. And now we get access to a familiarization trip, meaning we get to go on that riverboat cruise, like to Africa, for $690 versus $890, we get $200 off and you can bring a guest. FAM trips are familiarization trips where you will learn about the destinations. Um, it's a learning trip, okay? So you know it's not all fun, but most of it is. And again, you, you work a little and then you get a play. You, get a, you usually get time off to do whatever you want, okay? So those are called familiarization trips. I actually got to go on one to Jamaica with sandals. First night, cocktails and hors d'oeuvres, meeting the other agents, the leaders. After that, the rest of the night was mine. The next day, we got together, did a tour of the property, okay? Couple hours there, the rest of the day was ours. All the water activities, all the drinks, all the food, everything included, okay? Yeah, we had an amazing time. I actually took off and went to uh, Dunn's River Falls. And then the last day there, we did a 30 minute YouTube video. How did you like the resort, Marnie? What did you like best? What did you think of a butler? I had a butler there, okay? Um, so yeah, and I didn't pay anything for that trip except the airfare to get over there. So definitely guys, your travel agents, you wanna get out there, experience it. Again, while I was out there, I'm on my phone with social media. Guys, look at this. Look at it. The, the butler ran a hot bubble bath with roses for me because again, Sandals Resorts are for couples. Um, my boyfriend at the time was not an agent, so he didn't get to go with me. Um, again, it's usually agents only, but sometimes they will allow you to bring a guest such as Amma Waterways, okay? All right, so let's get going. Um, so we're in um, TBO Academy. We're learning about Portugal today. 
Um, it says I have to sign in again, so let me get in here. Can you please share your vendor supplier list spreadsheet at the end? Yes, I'll share it again at the end, just remind me. All right, so again, TBO Academy, all these in here, Norwegian, Saudi, Lux, uh, Standard, um, Hotels, Destinations, et cetera, okay? So again, fun little things to do, sit back, relax. If you're new with us, a lot of people will um, do like a split screen. They'll follow along on one, but take the test on the other. Again, most of these we do tests and then you get a certificate at the end, you post it, you let people know you're a specialist and yay, you start booking travel, right? Okay, so everybody registered, everybody signed in, let me know. Um, again, um, uh, I appreciate if anybody comes on later, um, if you guys could just watch the chat box for me, that would be great. All right, blah, 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 blah. Okay, there we go. Uh, 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 all right, 47 people on. Yay, welcome everybody. All right, Alexis, no worries, just sign in. Um, you're gonna go into this program. You'll have to register if you have not. Again, guys, remember, just like I just showed you the schedule I'm gonna do for next month. Let me click over here really quick. Look, right here for August, um, we have, oops, I have it on my word right here. Ba, 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 right here. Um, I have the link right here so try to go in ahead of time i post this in all the facebook pages um incentive vouchers evolution enterprises rising tide um uh, beach bosses i post it in our chats okay um so get in here ahead of time pre-register if you can all right so that way everybody's going can i follow along and take notes Yes, you can, Tina, but it's it's kind of good to do it with us. That way you're done and you don't have to take another hour to do it later. But yes, you can do whatever you wish. Um, you know, and again, I tell people, a lot of people will take screenshots or or have like folders on their desktop or binders. So like when we do weddings and stuff, now you have all these different um, places. You can plan the weddings and stuff for your customers, et cetera, okay? All right, so overview of um, Portugal, the land of port wine. Um, how do you register? You have to go into TDO Academy and register, okay? Very easy. Um, so here's my profile. So you'll go in. You don't have to fill out a whole lot. Um, oops, that's my profile. Um, let me go into my account. So you're going to click on register, okay? And then um, it may ask you for our IATA number, okay? Also, guys, uh, make sure you um, ask ask in the group to everyone because I'm going to be doing the training. So if you have questions, go ahead and ask. All right, so really quick again, TBO Academy. So you're going to go in here. Ba, ba, ba. Where is it? Hold on. Uh, uh, uh. I'm out of here. Okay. All right. Do, 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 do. Right here, TBO Academy. So you're going to go here. I'm logged in already. Let me log out. Okay, you're going to sign in or register, okay? So you're going to sign up because it's your first time, right? Um, so your name, your email, okay? Uh, register agency name, always, 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 Archer Travel. That is our travel company, okay? Evolution is marketing. So anytime you're working with travel, it is Archer Travel, okay? Come on, what the? Okay, I'll mute her, sorry. <laughs> Somebody's not happy, okay. All right, so just go in and register. Once you get registered, then you'll go ahead and sign in um, on the link that I sent you and then we'll get started on training, okay? All right, everybody good then? I have to go back now. Um, ba, 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 ba. So go to home here, go into Portugal, P-O-R-T-U, there we go. All right, so again, if you're just coming on board, don't worry, get in, get registered, follow along. Um, you don't have to worry till we get to the test, okay? Then again, we wait for everybody to complete the test. We don't leave anybody behind, okay? So if you're registering, ask questions if you need help. 
Once you get registered, go into Portugal. I just put the link there. So again, listen. And then when we get to the test, I'll make sure everybody's ready, okay? All right, so Portugal's Europe's most Western country is home to gorgeous villages, cities steeped in history, lush valleys of rolling vineyards, miles of stunning coastline, world-class surf areas, world-class golf courses. Portugal is one of the top holiday locations globally, especially when you consider the country's deep-rooted gastronomic and cultural traditions. Discover what Portugal is known for from the northern city of Porto to the capital, Lisbon. And again, I apologize for mispronunciations on some things. Correct me if I'm wrong, okay? All right, and uh, the bright Atlantic Ocean islands of Madeira and Azores, okay? So Madeira, we're actually doing that training next month, okay? We added that. Course preview, how to reach Portugal, getting around Portugal, best time to visit Portugal. Um, all right, Tiffany, it may have sent you an email, which you have to go into the email and then uh, reply, and then it should. Um, okay, uh, things to do in Portugal, accommodations, Portugal gastron gastronomy, port wine, Portugal, and restaurants. How completing each course is beneficial. It will give you the outstanding educational services to assist and improve your business and selling abilities. And then who is this course for? Travel agents and enthusiasts, okay? All right, um, have you heard from our guy? Okay, cool. All right, is Portugal a family destination? Yes, it is a family destination. Families with children can always use extensive coastlines to enjoy. A family with adult children might want to visit the country's wine region, okay? Which season is best to visit? Spring, which is March through May, is the most outstanding season to visit Portugal. That usually is a test question, so pay attention to that. What language is commonly spoken in Portugal? Primary and national language is Portuguese. Many locals, however, have learned to communicate in English, Spanish, and French. Is it costly to travel to Portugal? Uh, Portugal is considered one of the most cost-effective travel destinations in Western Europe. Save that, put that with your certificate, say, hey guys, this you know, place is the most, you know, one of the most cost-effective travel destinations. Let me send you there, okay? Does it snow in Portugal? To begin with, it snows in Portugal, but only in the Serra de Estrela mountain range in northern Portugal. All right. So it says uh, it takes about 10 to 20 minutes, meaning it's probably an hour at least, okay? Um, it's funny when they say that, and then it's like, ah. um, intermediate level and pass the quiz to complete the course, okay? Again, we will help each other with that quiz. All right, so let's get started. Da, 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 log in again, because that was the introduction. Come on. Hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Do, 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 do. Hold on, I'll get signed in one of these days. All right. No, I, I have so much open. Let me try to get out and then go back in. That's okay. Okay. So TBO Academy. Oh, that's Thailand. We don't want Thailand. We want Portugal. Sorry, guys. Is the link not working for you? Um, yeah, it kept going back, but I think because I have so many things open here because I've been trying <laughs> to set up the other trainings. So it's probably just cache data. I think it okay. should be okay. Log in. 
see it just, see it keeps doing that. All right, let me try to log in with my Facebook and see if that'll work. You could always try to log in incognito. How do I do that? Let me uh, try press it. control shift N. Try up 10. Control shift N. That will open up incognito mode. Okay. That's oh, you have to click on your page. I'm sorry. All right, hold on. Let me try one other thing. You got it. I'm sorry. Yep, you got it. it did it work or no? You know what? I'm just going to open a new browser. Okay, let's try this. Is everybody else in? <laughs> yes. Okay, good. Da, 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 da. Yes, I'm in. Thank you. All right. And I'm going to sign in. Oh my God. Okay, huh? Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right, um, maybe I'll have to send somebody else over here. Hold on. Oh my gosh. Sorry, guys. I'll be there in a minute. Hold on. When I try to change the agency, it really grilled out. It didn't allow me. Okay, if somebody could help put my own business name as agency. Could I just change it? Yeah, you should be able to change it later. Um, so just go in and try um, doing that. Okay, guys, let me go in here. We'll get started here in a minute, sorry. See what I said, it takes 25 minutes or an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Okay, there we go. Portugal. All right. Here we go. Yes. And we are in. Almost. I hate when it does this. Anybody know how to stop it from doing that uh, verification? We'll do that later. <laughs> Get going on the training. <laughs> All right, let's go. Portugal, yes. P-O-R-T-U-G-A-L. All right. Um, again, you guys can change the agency and stuff later if you need to. Um, you know, update that later. You want to make sure your address and stuff is correct because, again, you want to make sure you get those perks, right? You want to make sure you get those gifts in the mail, et cetera. Okay. Uh, Rose, what trouble are you having? Who's having trouble getting in? Um, again, just register. You just saw what I went through. I just had to sign out and come completely back in. So, again, put in the chat. We will have agents helping you guys. I'm going to just start reading. Okay. Um, Tiffany, what trouble are you having? Let us know. In the meantime, I'm going to read, and then um, again, you'll you should hopefully be registered and ready when we get to the test. So just keep your ears open and let's go. Portugal, Europe's most western country, is home to gorgeous villages, cities um, steeped. Oh, we read this. This was at the overview that we read earlier. Okay. Next, how to reach Portugal. So you have the country of Portugal that has been inhabited. Uh, inhabited, I can't even read, for almost 30,000 years. Humans have progressed from the Neolithic, Neolithic era through the age of tools to the age of Christ. The Roman Empire was succeeded by the Moorish Empire, which a luxury, um, luxurious and wealthy Portuguese empire um, followed. Portugal was one of the first countries to set sail for far-flung 
destinations such as India, Vasco da Gama, um, with its extensive length of beaches, ruins, cathedrals, and palaces. This European nation is a lovely beacon of its rich past and treat for travelers. The best way to get to Portugal is by aeroplane. Continue reading to learn more about this and other alternatives available to you. So you have by air in India, flights to Portugal are available from New Delhi, Mumbai, Bangalore, Chennai, and Goa. These are one-stop flights that fly to one of the following Portuguese airports. Lisbon, Portela, Humberto, Delgado, Faro, and Madeira. These routes are served regularly by Lufthansa, Air France, Air India, British Airways, Jet Airways, budget Portuguese career carriers like Aerolingus, Monarch, Ryanair, EasyJet, and other provide others provide domestic flights. All right, from Arab countries. The most convenient way to reach Portugal is to get on a flight. The flight can cost around 600 to 2300 AED. Emirates, Turkish Airlines, British Airways, and TAP Air Portugal are a few airlines that offer direct flights to Portugal. How about by road? Largest taxi service in Portugal is Central de, um, de Taxis, which also serves as a booking gateway for taxis all around the country. You may acquire a list of taxi costs for your holiday plans. Again, holiday in Europe area and stuff, um, um, holiday is considered a vacation, okay, um, in U.S., okay, so holiday is a vacation, not just a holiday, you know, Christmas, New Year's, all right, tours, hotel, and airport transfers, if you're on a budget, buses are also on um, an alternative, Alsa and Autores, which connect Portugal and Spain, are the two largest bus companies, with Anvil is the third, joining Portugal to France, in cities, you may use Uber to get around quickly. By train, Portugal has excellent rail connections both within the country and with foreign nations. Yay, Tiffany. There are railway lines connecting Lisbon, Portugal's capital to Madrid, Spain, and Paris. Again, Lisbon, the capital. Make sure you remember that. It's probably a test question. For domestic rail uh, travel, your rail trains will connect some of Portugal's most significant cities, beginning at the southernmost tip of Faro and ending in Lisbon. Uh, Crumbra, Porto, and Braga. Um, yay, Sarah, congratulations. In the north, Urbanos are local trains that travel in cities such as Lisb Lisbon and Porto. Special tickets are also available for rail excursions spanning these cities. Okay, getting around in Portugal um, is a travel destination where it is difficult to limit oneself to just one site or activity with world-class beaches, intriguing, vibrant cities, protected natural reserves. Fortunately, the country has an excellent and reasonable price transportation network and plethora of two and four wheel vehicle rental options, making it simple to get around this Iberian marble. Here's how to navigate Portugal. All right, by train, Portugal has a vast railway network that runs the entire length of the country virtually, uh, making travel between locations economical, pleasant, convenient, and frequently picturesque. Popular tourist destinations including Lisbon, Faro, Lagos, Porto, and Figur Figuraria de Paz <laughs> are connected by train with international links to Paris and Madrid. You have CP, Camboas de Portugal, is the country's primary train operator, operating four different types of long-distance services. International services are denoted by the letter N on timetables. So you have regional R, trains are sluggish and stop almost everywhere. You have interregional, services are quicker and avoid the smaller stops. You have inter sedati whatever, trains are express trains that only stop in major cities. And then the Alpha Pendular Deluxe, um, quicker than express trains, but significantly more expensive. You have by bus. Buses are a fantastic way to get through Portugal uh, on a budget or explore more uh, diminutive uh, towns and villages, especially away from the coast. 
that aren't on the rail network. They're cheaper than trains, but slower and less comfortable. Many small private bus companies conduct a dense network of services across the nation, most of which have merged into regional conglomerates. The Reed Expressos, Roda Norte, and Algarva Line Eva transporters are the largest. And then bus services are divided into three categories. Carraras, um, slow service that stop at every junction and are denoted with a CR. You have Expressos and Rapidas. Rapidas, Rapida, Rapidas. <laughs> Expressos and Rapidas are fast and comfortable buses. The former is more likely to travel between big cities, whereas the latter is more likely to run around specialized regions. These are the most popular with visitors. And then Alta Qualidad. Some firms provide a fast deluxe category. Automobiles and motorcycles. Exploring Portugal on two or four wheels is a beautiful way to experience a country since it allows you to go freely without relying on public transportation. The country's tiny network of uh, uh, estradas, highways, is progressively expanding and major roads are see sealed and generally good. On the other hand, traveling through Portugal, oops, hold on, let me go ahead and mute, there we go. Um, on the other hand, traveling through Portugal's little walled towns may be challenging since roads can quickly thin to donkey cart size and intricate one-way system can drive you off your path. And then they have a tram. Taking a ride on one of Portugal's historic trams has become a must-do activity of the nation. Fascinating rattling relics roll through the tight alleyways of Lisbon and Porto and are an expense, inexpensive way to visit both Pounds. Okay, so Sophia, we just started on Portugal. Again, make sure if you're going to um, put in the chat, put it to everyone in case I'm in the middle of reading, they can help you. Um, but just go to Portugal and we just start right there and just follow the arrows. It'll just go next, next, next. So we're right here, the land of port wine. We just read through this and now we're going to go here. Best time to visit Portugal. Okay, so just follow the tabs. Um, again, spring, March through May is the best season to visit Portugal since the country is in flower and waking up after the winter. You might also visit in fall between September and October when the sun is still shining, temperatures are mild, and the crowds have thinned out. Okay. Next. All right. Did you guys ever see Euro Trip? <laughs> Crazy movie. All right, on the world famous Euro trip, Portugal is one of the most popular and wanted stops. It is situated on the Iberian Peninsula's western coast. There are several locations to visit in Portugal that you must see during your vacation. The geography varies from mountains and vineyards in the north to farmlands and medieval villages in the center and beautiful beaches along the southern coast, providing everything you might want on your dream vacation. So the best places to visit in Portugal, again, take a picture of this, guys, um, to help share with your certificate. Without seeing these unique spots to visit in Portugal and experience the finest in the nation, no journey is complete. Sintra National um, Palace, the News Museum, Evora Cathedral, Roman Temple, the Lisbon Oceanarium, Montserrat Palace, St. George's Castle, Geronimo's Monastery, Medieval Village, Porto Bridge, and then Cas de Ribera, Ribera Canal. All right, things to do with the family. Beautiful beaches, magnificent wildlife, charming architecture, and themed amusement parks for fun days out are all available in Portugal for you and your family to enjoy during your vacation. There is something for everyone from bookworms to adrenaline junkies. Here are some of your favorite um, family fa friendly activities. At the Lisbon Oceanarium, you can see local aquatic life. The Lisbon um, Oceanarium has Europe's biggest indoor aquarium with fish and sharks swimming in 5 million liters, which is 1.3 million gallons, wow, of salt water. You may also see sea otters, birds, amphibians, intervertebrates, 
um, there. It takes around two hours to walk around the entire park, so it's a great way to kill an afternoon or morning before heading to the adjacent Park Das Nasas boardwalk for some sun, walking, and refreshments. Come face to face with wildlife at Jardim du Zoologico. Um, if you're in Lisbon, the Jardim Zoologico um, or Lisbon Zoo is located across the street from the Sate Rios train, metro, and bus station. The zoo, which first opens its door in 1884, will teach the entire family about many species, protection, and natural habitats. Arrive early to watch feeding time and unique exhibitions. Um, go castle hopping in Sintra is a must see for families since it's a fantasy town studded with castles, palaces, and picturesque woodlands. The town center is worth visiting and traditional delicacies are a must try. De descent into the strange caverns and tunnels of structures like the mysterious Quinta de um, Regalera. <laughs> Alternatively, take a stroll around the old uh, Pena Palace which resembles a Disney palace with its towers and many colors. Below are some experiences that families can enjoy. Dos pe Pequinitos, Obidos, Sierra de Arabade, Rutas de Mara, Parque Adventura, Dolphin Watching Boat Tour, okay, I got that one right, Lagos Zoo, Aqua Show, Slide and Slash, and Zoo Marina. Again, if you're focusing on families, take a picture of that so you can share that. And then uh, things to do for couples now, okay? The Tagus River, a romantic sail on the Tagus River is one of the most romantic things to do in Portugal. The Tagus River is known for river cruises that transport visitors around Lisbon and its key sites, including the Bellum Tower and the National Pantheon. Take an evening sail to see the most stunning sunset. Then you have Streets of Alfama, those who don't mind walking around should go to Lisbon's Alfama neighborhood. Your Portugal honeymoon will be incomplete if you do not visit the colorful and vibrant alleyways of Alfama and the modest, quaint cafes and pubs that line the streets. Then you have Casa do Elantajo, uh, one of the most popular places for a romantic dinner experience. Appetizing, uh, uh, sorry, um, elegance, luxury, romance, and world class gastronomy. Casa de Alantajo is a palace that has been transformed into a stylish and trendy restaurant that gives the finest in terms of decor, seclusion, and cuisine to everybody. Below are some experiences couples um, will enjoy in Portugal Castle of the Moors, vineyard tour and wine tasting, a couple spa, Malacero. Island Hopping, Madeira, Faro, Oceanaro de Lisboa, and Ponta de Piada. All right, and then solo travelers. Enjoy the landscapes and sunlight of the nation with every um, with other single travelers. Is there anything else that excites you? It's a lot more fun to try Portugal's iconic pastel de nada, a flaky and savory custard pastry with new companions to enjoy the thrill of the first taste. You may or may not meet like-minded folks while on your trip as you participate in immersive activities and adventures. Below are some experiences that solo travelers can enjoy. Faro, Oceanaro de Lisboa, Ponta de Piada, Aqua Show, Slide and Splash, Zoo Marine, Canto Marinal Beach, Amalga um, Grave uh, Beach, Beach of Ribeiro de Cavallo, and Porto Santo Beach. All right, so again, you can hit everybody up, right? Help everybody um, enjoy their trip, right? Okay, hotels and accommodations are usually inexpensive and give excellent service. It's easy to see why people find Portugal's charm appealing, especially when combined with low-cost public transportation and pedestrian down, um, downtown streets. So you have five star hotels, Villa Vida Park Resort and Spa, Hotel Avenida Palace, Hotel The Cliff Bay, Torrell Palace Porto, Porto Bay Flores, Savoy Palace, Mycin Alvar Hotels, La Monumental uh, Palace, Torrell Avantagard and Porta by Liberdad and 3 HP Faro, Tavoli, Avenida Liberdad Lisboa. Ooh, got that? 
You have four star hotels, Hotel de Baxa, Jupiter, Lisbo, Puerto Mara, H10, Vinci Ponce, uh, Pestana Vara, Hotel Santa Justa, Heritage Avenada Libertad, Suite um, Hotel Eden Mar, and Hotel Mandal Mandal. Three star Dom Jose Beach Hotel, My Story Hotel, Rosario um, Star in Lisboa, Hotel White Lisboa, Dare Lisbon House, The Seven Hotel, Aramar Beach Resort, Hotel do Carmo, Hotel Baia, Grande Hotel do Porto. All right, and then gastrono gastronomy, Portugal. Portugal is famous for its cuisine and good wine. The Atlantic Ocean is Portugal's most significant influence when it comes to the kitchen table, from fresh anchovies to salted fish and grilled prawns. Meat dishes such as beef, hog, and goat are, are also popular and are frequently used in stews or marinated and then grilled. Uh, taverns and marascaras, seafood restaurants, serve anything from basic rustic style cooking to per perfectly presented Michelin star cuisine. In Lisbon, nibble your way through regional specialties at the fantastic time out Mercado de Ribera, which houses 40 of the city's most incredible eateries with diverse menus. The uh, uh, aromatic uh, fish soup, exquisite tuna, carpaccio, roast um, octopus, thick game sausage, and numerous flavorful croquettes are all worth trying. Madeira's dynamic farmer's market has been in operation since 1940, offers a busy fish market as well as stalls stacked high with colorful fruit, vegetables, and flowers. Try the island-grown passion fruit, guava, prickly pear, um, basalis, and cape uh, gooseberry from one of the fruit sellers. You'll also discover less well-known fruits like the uncommon banana passion fruit and the banana pineapple soursop hybrid known as delicious fruit in the area, which has a delicious custard flavor. Try some of Porto's greatest cuisine and nibble on various cheeses, including the strong Serra de Estrella sheep's milk type manufactured in Portugal's highest mountain range. The Sierra Serra de Estrella Pair a glass of port with slices of Quajara de Cabra Transmontana, a hard goat's milk cheese, and the semi-hard Quajara de Visa and Alejante do cheese made with raw sheep's milk. For the greatest effect, go for a deep red-hued vintage port with aromas of ripe plums, black currant, and cherry. Purchase a bottle of Portuguese olive oil to take home as a memento of the country's thriving culinary culture. All right, so traditional cuisine in Portugal, local ingredients and bold intense, intense tastes are the hallmarks of Portuguese cuisine. Whether you choose a salty punch of Valcaja, the sweet custardy kicks of pastas de nata, or the intense mix of paprika, garlic, and bay leaves, the foundation of many recipes, local recipes. Portugal's traditional foods provide robust and exquisite taste. Here's our top, our list of the top 10 Portuguese meals to eat on your next trip to help you plan your gastronomic adventures. Ajira de Merendela may have the appearance of a sausage, but it is much more. It's packed with various meats, ranging from veal to rabbit and served with a fried egg and potatoes. Also, it's played a significant historical role with Portuguese Jews making the meal as a visible sign of their conversion to Christianity. Bacala, uh, more, a uh, little more than salted dried fish, but it appears in over thousand Portuguese dishes. Its robust salty flavor is exceptionally seductive. Whether roasted a la lagarero, cooked in a casserole a gomas de sa, or simply filled in bar snacks like croquettes. Bethana, thinly sliced pork marinated in garlic and white wine cooked in a lardy sauce and slapped between the folds of a Portuguese bread makes Bethana a sumptuous sandwich. You guys getting hungry? How about caldo verde? Um, a local popular meal may appear to be an un, um, uninformed as cabbage soup. Its greens are sliced up in very specific ways, absorbing most of the slightly smoky taste supplied by the addition of barbecued pork, making it deceptively complex to prepare. Then you have carne de porco um, a la tanjana. 
heaps of pork and shellfish make up Portugal's rendition of surf and turf. When the clams are put on a combination of paprika, garlic, bay leaf, and coriander, they open up, allowing their exquisite salty fluids to drip into the meat. Ovas, Portugal has a long history of seafood consumption and a result, there is a range of regional recipes that employ the entire fish, even the egg sacs. This famous local salad combines the egg sacs with onions, bell peppers, tomatoes, and lettuce. We swear it's a lot better than it sounds. All right, pastas de nata, the mother of all custard tarts, has a global reputation, a continental one. Um, lemon juice is poured into the custard and a pinch of nutmeg is dusted over the glossy film of, a, of the lid um, on the best. Oh, glossy film of a lid of, on the best, which is sent all over the world. All right, uh, pex grajado. Uh, the bass note of every Portuguese meal, and for good reason. The marinade is commonly seen on red snapper, sardines, bass, bream, and mackerel. Although it may be used on nearly any seafood, drizzled in olive oil, sprinkled with pieces of salt, then roasted over charcoal until the skin turns crispy. Pax Carlado is the bass um, note of the every Portuguese menu, and for good reason. Sardinas, although many delectable fish kinds give sardines a run for their money. The smaller nibbler remains the most popular. They're inexpensive and tasty and they're ideal addition to jugs of sangria or a plate of veggies. Salami de chocolate. Um, um, you, um, Budicus chocolate, sorry, salami, which is also prevalent in Italy, can be found in most grocery stores and pasteleras across Portugal. This delectable dessert matches even the legendary pastas de nata with a Moorish blend of dark chocolate, almond, and broken up biscuits. All right, and then other restaurants or restaurants to visit to get this food. What if you could be in one area and eat all your favorite foods? This is true even when you are in Portugal as we provide you with some of the greatest and hand-picked restaurants where you can satisfy your thirst for something unique and delicious. A variety of alternatives accessible in Portuguese restaurants will make your taste buds appreciate the delight you're giving them. The establishments range in quality from world-class to modest and affordable. To minimize needless waits, make a reservation before arriving at the restaurant. So traditional restaurants, Cantino, Lucianzano, Varina, Das Flores and all the above. And then you have the continental restaurants here, okay? All right, next. Okay, port of wine, Portugal. And we're almost done, guys. So thank you for staying with us. Beautiful glass of port wine after a wonderful supper is something unique because there are so many variations to pick from in Portugal, the birthplace of port. We're here today to assist you in finding something that meets your taste and style. Don't forget that a decent bottle of port is a terrific present. Let's begin with the title. Only the Douro Valley in Portugal produces authentic port wine, commonly known as wine from Porto, Vino do Porto. Types of port wine, port wine comes in various colors, including red, white, rosé, and an age variant known as tawny. Let's look at each of these traits one by one. So you have ruby port. A uh, deeply colored ruby port with raspberry, blackberry, cinnamon, and chocolate flavors. These are young wines with fruity aromas and light body. Ruby ports are drunk um, when they are still young. Having been aged for three years, a glass of ruby port goes well with blue cheese, milk, chocolate, and berry-based sweets. These wines are reasonably priced. Following are the most well-known ruby port brands. Grams, Crawford, Taylor's, Nearport, Warriors, Cockburns. Tawny port, a sweet port with nutty caramel flavors, deep amber hue. Tawny port is a combination of wines from previous vintages. Vintages. The wine is 10, 20, or 30 years old. So following are the most popular brands of aged tawny port wines. Graham's, Cropport, Taylor's, Nearport, Wares, and Cockburn's. Then you have white port made from ind indigenous white grapes and contains apricot, sweet baked apple, citrus peel flavors. It's fruitier and more full bodied than any other fortified white wine. And it's served frequently as an aperitif. A uh, white port may be prepared in various ways 
from very dry to semi-sweet. Rose port, new variety of port wine that tastes like rose and has strawberry and caramel flavors. And then vintage port, prepared from a combination of grapes from different vineyards that are all the same year. <laughs> Taylor port, okay, cool. Thank you. The best grapes from the best vineyards are combined to make a premium vintage port in the best years. These wines are aged for six months in oak barrels before being bottled unfiltered for additional maturing. The aging process may take another 20 years or longer. All right, the following are the most common vintage port brands. Um, Churchill's, Cockburn's, Dow's, Fonseca, Sendeman, Grams, and Wares. Okay. All right, you got your wine connoisseurs already now? All right. Is he here, dear? Okay. What about Joe? Okay. All right, port wine Portugal. Where in Portugal can you go to have a taste of port wine? So you go to the Caves Column. The most popular wine cellars are Caves Column. It's more than simply a dark room with a lot of casks where you can sample port wine. It is interactive museum with a guided tour in English, Portuguese, French, or Spanish. You should check ahead of the time because they change the language every hour. Wine tasting and a Fado concert. They'll, in, um, they'll offer another activity soon, a 5D video on port wine. Avenida Diago Lete 344, Villa Nova de Gaia hosts these caverns. If you only want to go to the museum and taste the wines, it will cost you between $12 and $15, depending on the wines you choose. It is 21 with a Fado show, although you should double check the dates. Fiero Cellars um, will transport you to the roots of Portuguese culture. It was built in 1751 by a family of winemakers and has regained its operations ever since. You'll discover more about the history of port wine and the Douro area throughout your tour. You'll also get to sample some excellent wines. The basements are located in Avenado, Avenida, Avenida, sorry, Ramos Pinto 70, Villa Nova de Gaia. Depending on the tour you want to take, the fee ranges from $12 to $40. And then Taylor's Cellars. Uh, also explain to you about the history of port wine and demonstrate how it was made back then versus now. You may also sample port wine on the patio while taking in a breathtaking view of the Porto. Uh, Taylor Cellars is located in Villa Nova de Gallo's Rua de Chapelot 250. The cost is $15. Yay, now we get to take the test, guys. You guys all ready? Everybody prepared and ready? Let's do it. Take the quiz. All right. So just remember some of us, the questions may be out of order. So don't get scared. Don't say, no, I don't have that one. Okay, it's probably down below. So what we do again, we do this together. We make sure everybody passes, okay? All right, where are red checkered flags raised at beaches? Why are I don't even see, remember, did that even go? Why are red checkered flags raised at beaches in Portugal? You cannot enter the water. Yeah, I don't remember seeing that. But anyway, I know that just from being on the beach. Which of the following is the largest taxi service in Portugal? It was this one, right? I think it's that one. Everybody agree? Which traditional cuisine has the appearance of a sausage? This one? Alera, thank you. Which bus service? Okay, Ray, it's not different, it's just out of order. Okay, just watch. You'll, your answers will probably be down here. Okay. Most likely, that's usually how it is. So your questions will be up above. All right, which bus service um, joined Portugal to France? Okay, you said Uber. Okay, which port wine has taste of strawberry and caramel? Caramel. Rose. How many years is vintage port is aged? How many years is vintage port is aged? 
All right, Annabelle is the bus service. Okay, thank you. And this is 20 years or more. Okay, so again, guys, are you all getting these? As I said, they're probably out of order. Again, we will make sure everybody's questions are answered. Which of the following bus service offers fast deluxe buses? That is Espresso's? Or is that the Alta? Or Alta? Espresso's. Okay. All right, Espresso's. And then I have one says Alpha and one says Alta. So we got two with the expressos. Okay. All right. So we're going to go with the expressos right now. In which of the following port wine tours you can experience the wine making process? Is it the caves? Thank you, John. Taylor's, thank you. Which of the port wine is drank when it's young? Mm -hmm. When it was young, Ruby. I think it's Ruby. Okay, and which of the following is the most loved, loved Portugal dessert? That was this one, right? The pastas de nata. Okay, guys, did everybody get there? And questions answered, and does everybody agree with what we chose? Again, your first answer may be down here, or first question. Largest taxi service is Anvil. No, which bus service? Largest taxi service is Cent Central D D Central D Taxis. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Okay, Alpha delivers fast deluxe. All right, hold on, bus. There's one wrong. I don't know what it yeah. is. It won't let me view it, but I got nine out of ten. I got nine out of ten. So here, did you guys put espressos here? And if so, do we do the Alpha deluxe? I put espressos there, and I, I don't. I, don't I can't find out which one it is that's wrong. All right. Does everybody else have their questions answered? Should I try it and see if we got it right? I do, except for the checker flag one. The checker flag, that don't go in the water. You cannot okay, enter the water. You so You're welcome. It's Alpha. She got 10 out of 10. Yay! All right, guys. So it's, it's Alpha. Did I put that in here? Alpha. Okay, let's do it. Submit. And ding, 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 10 out of 10. Woo! That was awesome. Yeah. All right. So uh, download so your certificate, guys. Share it on me. social media. Uh huh. My, um, Maury, I didn't yeah. get all of mine right. I couldn't keep up because I don't have the um, dual screen. Okay. I couldn't all right. the answers. Okay. Which, which one do you need so we can tell you the answers? I have, I have to retake the test. Okay. Okay, in which of the following port wine tours you can experience the wine making process? Taylor. I think that was Taylor, right, guys? Okay, which other port wine is drank when it's young? Ruby. It really? Okay. Which traditional cruising has the appearance of a sausage? Um Corne, Corne da Porco. Which one was the sausage, guys? What are her choices? Oh God. Um. Okay. There's corny de corny de porco alente el. I don't know. Overs and baja 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 house something. Here, I'll retake it here. Well, no, I'll try to get back in. Hold on. <laughs> okay. I can't pronounce those well at all. All right. <laughs> Okay, guys, for those that, that got your certificate, make sure you guys post it. Make sure you uh, let people know you are now a specialist on Portugal and share the experience, okay? All right, let's take the quiz again really quick so you guys can help me and make sure everybody goes, okay? Vintage Port, 20 years. The bus service is Anvil. Wait. Vintage, wait, oh, God. I don't, I said that. And what was the other one? 
Okay, go to your, which, just go to your questions and we'll answer them together. Okay, okay, that, that sounds good. Which traditional cuisine has the appearance of a sausage? Um, is it baklava? I can't remember. Do you guys remember? Is that is that the baklava? Is that a sausage? Okay, I think it's the first Allah here. Allah okay. here. Yeah. Okay, Allah yeah. here. Okay, Allah here. Thank you. Okay, why are red checkered flags raised at beaches in Portugal? You Portugal? cannot enter the water. Okay. Which of the following is most loved Portugal? Is pause, most pause loved? the first, the de nata. Okay. And I know the uh, Uber is one. Which of the following bus services offer fast deluxe buses? Wasn't it the a Expresso? No, it's the uh, yeah. Alpha, right? The Alpha oh, yeah, Deluxe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Uber uh, isn't, it's not Uber. The one No, no Uber. Uber was one of the questions, well, it was one of the multi multiple choice questions. Yeah, but it's not I Uber. I said Uber when I got to it because got it. our okay. answer. Okay, which port wine have taste of strawberry and caramel? Rose. Thank you. Okay, which of the following is largest taxi service in it's Portugal? It's the central one. Okay. I'm submitting. I got eight out of 10. But you passed, right? Yeah, I passed. Yes. Okay, perfect. All Thank right. You so much. You're welcome. Of course. See, that's why we do it. Teamwork, guys. Okay. Post your certificate. Let's have some fun. Okay. Um, remember, um, you know, our, our list for next next month, okay, right here, you also get um, an email with it, okay, with your certificate. So if you can't download it, you can get it there. Um, make sure to um, follow me on YouTube. Make sure to um, that list. Let me pull that list up for you. Uh, uh, uh. Now, again, I have to log in because I logged out of everything. Do, do, do. All right. Um, yes, I logged in. Okay. All right. So did you guys have fun? Did everybody pass? Yes. Everybody good? Okay, good. Yes. All right. Let me go Thank ahead. You so You're welcome, of course. Fun. This was fun. <laughs> it is fun. And, and again, um, you know, we all learn together and stuff. Hold on. I need to do this. Do, do, do. Did you receive a code? Okay. Text me a code. All right. Let me get to the link just where, where it'll be. So that way you guys have it. Yay. Is Darby on here? Darby just became an executive. Woo -woo. So congratulate Darby. Uh, she just uh, got her third person, so yay. Remember, guys, you only need six people to cover your monthly, okay? So, you know, I always tell everybody, do both sides of the business, okay? Why not? You know, why not help people, right? Um, help them to, you know, go on vacation. Help them to make money. Help them to get out of that terrible nine to five, right? Um, yeah, you guys can follow me on, on Facebook. I'm right here. I'm trying to get it switched over. I know um, Emily has it switched over because right now I'm almost at 5,000 friends. Um, but this is my Facebook. You guys can follow me on Facebook. Post, 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 guys. Um, right here, you can use anything I post, okay? Um, excuse me, why aren't you at the beach? You know, kind of a cute, interactive, right? Flying spirit, be like, Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> um, here we are traveling my jalapeno margarita right rest in peace Sully <laughs> again interaction guys okay um, my beautiful daughter does nails here in Vegas if you ever want to come out I thought I wanted a career turns out I just want a paycheck to buy plane tickets happiness sun sand and a drink in my hand all right, I'm not lucky. You know what I am? I'm smart. I'm talented. I take advantage of the opportunities that come my way and I work really, really hard. Don't call me lucky. Call me a badass. No. <laughs>
Traveling is about finding those things you never knew you were looking for. So again, guys, use all these. Broke people be like, how much is it going to cost me? Don't you get that all the time? Instead, how much is this going to make me? You know, what can I, you know, am I going to make lots of money? And so, well, how much do you want from me? You know, again, stay positive. Love these guys. I follow them. Yeah, come talk to my daughter. Adult Disney fans. Um, Oh, here, if you like spiders, my, my sister hates spiders, so I sent it to her. Watch this. I'm going to open it up and <laughs> look at all those. Gross, huh? <laughs> Yummy food. So again, guys, just stay plugged in. Things I do on my spare time, I go cruising. I watch cruising. I research cruising. Talk about cruising. Checking my temperature. I need to travel. All right. So that is my Facebook page. Make sure you guys are all in our incentive voucher group, okay? Right here. Make sure you answer the questions. If you do not, we will deny you. I get so many people that get declined even after I've told them. There's two questions that you have to answer. When you go to sign up, the answers are right there. I think it's at the bottom. But these incentive vouchers, as you see my trainings here, um, here is the link to the, um, and thank you, Sandy. Sandy takes care of this chart for us, okay? She keeps this up to date for us. So tell her thank you, um, but it's right here. This is all our trainings that we've done. The ones in yellow are the ones that we are doing this month. Again, this month is now over. We just did Portugal. So this YouTube will be right here. Um, and then of course my YouTube channel, um, make sure you follow me on that. Again, I have also additional trainings on there. Um, if you're not, just say no. Okay, uh, we do have an incentive chat on Telegram and also on um, Messenger. But if you're not part of that, don't worry about it. You don't have to be to join this group. Um, but on, on our incentive voucher group, I just want to explain to you that... Um, Use this, guys, um, their incentive vouchers such as uh, hotel stays, um, Vegas stays, cruises, seven-night resort stays, all-inclusive hotel certificates, restaurant certificates. They're a great way to you know, promote your business. Thank you so much, Catherine, for booking with me. Here's a seven-night resort stay for your family. Again, they are kind of like Groupon highly discounted. Um, they're not free, uh, but you have access to them. It does cost $12 for the entire year to use them. Actually, that $12 actually covers you to use them for two years. Um, but yeah, definitely a great way to promote your business. Um, we do have the training video here and I do them every month. Okay. Um, you don't pay any upfront costs at all. I don't, again, I don't recommend you guys pay anything on these vouchers. You have to pay $12 to use them because I paid $900 um, to um, have you let you guys have access to them. So all I ask is pay a dollar a month, $12, and now we have enough that it'll cover you for two years. So you pay $12. Again, you don't have to do this, but right here, uh, how to pay to, to use them. If you want to pay the redemption fee, you can. I do not recommend it, okay? Um, again, when you go into the vouchers, this is one of the top ones that I recommend. Do like a, a, a travel party or a, um, a, a, a farmer's market, okay? And you give it away. Can we pay? For, yeah, it is 12 for the year, John. You just pay $12, you get put on the list, and then you order those vouchers. You can order up to 10 a day. Like my page, you know, um, book with me. Com comment on my page, get a voucher, okay? Again, you have to watch the training to, um, is it is okay to list you on the question? Yes, yeah, you can put me down. Again, look here. So what we're talking about, the redemption fee, yeah, you pay $24.95 to redeem this certificate. Then you have two years to use it, your client does. Um, again, you have to watch the training, but for seven days in a resort, worldwide, it's only $398. So your client is going to pay $424 or whatever 
and they get a seven night resort stay. No timeshare sales presentation required. So this is one of the top ones. Again, they have two years to use it, 3,500 locations. I recommend that one. Here's a Mexico one. Um, all inclusive. They're only going to pay $120 plus the redemption fee for two people. Um, and then right here, Mexico Resort, four nights. I think it is. This is seven days. I thought it was four. Yeah, it's four. We have to update this. Um, oh, good. Seven days a week. Sorry. Seven days a week. But here, um, you don't get commission on these. These are just vouchers. If they want, these are based on availability. And I'm not going to go into a lot of training because I do a training on it. You have the training here. You have the training right here in my YouTube channel. Okay, it's a, um, where is it? Right, right here. Incentive voucher training. Um, it's a almost an hour long training. Okay, um, so yeah, check this out. It'll explain everything about it. Um, but uh what it is, is it's based on availability. So if your client wants a specific place to go and time, they book with you. But this is now what we tell people is Carrie, you know, Carrie gives this to Jenny. Hey, Jenny, here, thank you for booking with me. Here's an all inclusive. Now, Jenny, you're going to book directly with, in this case, the travel agency. Some you have to do it online, stuff like that. Thank you, guys. Again, congratulations, everybody. Um, so what happens is, but you say, okay, Jenny, um, you have, you know, again, they have 30 days to redeem it. So you follow up with them in 25 days. Jenny, did you redeem your certificate yet? You only have five more days. Also, you have two years to use it once you book with them come back to me i can then help you with car rental excursions um additional nights okay we can't help them there but we can help them after okay all right perfect thank you thank you sandy i appreciate that all right so again get in here join us doing that right now where do we go to sign up for the vouchers def def definitely watching your youtube um, again, the vouchers is this incentive voucher group that I sent you. You go right here, fill out the form to order vouchers, video going over payment and form how to pay the payment. So again, guys, you can go here and pay the $12. You can also um, go here to pay the redemption fee, okay? It has the information right here. You can send it to me on Cash App, PayPal, Venmo, Zelle, or Facebook. Okay. All right. One. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. I just, just did every I just muted you. Sandy, was that you? I just remute I muted you. Yeah, it's me. Sorry. If you guys are going to join this group and you guys want to find the guide section, which I tell everybody to go to because that's where all the forms are. On your phone, there's going to be three lines on your top left hand corner. You click on those, it'll a drop down will come down. It will say guides. Click on that and it will take you to guides. Do you want to go to guide one? All the other guides are just going over the vouchers. This is where all the forms are at. That's how you Thank find you. them on your phone because they for some reason they changed it. I don't know. <laughs> all right, that's all. Thank you. Yeah, Sandy's yep. amazing. Sandy does these vouchers. So again, tell her thank you so much. And she does this spreadsheet for us. So again, she's amazing. She helps out so much. Um, oh my gosh. So um, yeah, definitely guys. Um, again, we all try to help. We're all just agents, just like you guys. We all just share and try to help everyone. Okay. So let me know what trainings you guys want to do next month um, or the next month. Okay. Um, again, I've got the schedule up. If everybody's good with this, I'm going to go ahead and post it and send it over. And, um, you know, we'll we'll get this set, set up and sent over. At <laughs> least I'm like you. <laughs> yeah, just stay busy and stay focused, okay? Um, but, yeah, I actually uh, got fed up with my 9 to 5, especially after they made me quit um, or cancel my trip to Japan. 
and I worked my butt off. I was working full time. I'm a single mom with four kids. Okay. Raised four kids on my own here in Vegas for 20 years. Okay. Luckily I did well there. My son's a detective, my three daughters, independent contractors I'm doing the, my, my lashes, nails, um, uh, waxings and, uh, photography. So, um, I'm pretty proud of them. Um, also my Instagram guys want to show you this because I have a lot of posts on here, very easy to grab and share. Okay. But yeah, I was working full time. I was working part time, delivered pizzas at night, but I sat and I posted, I, I did the, um, I did the, uh, uh, what did I, what did I do? The, um, the team building side of the business when I first started, cause I didn't have a lot of time to do bookings, but, um, uh, I was able to build up my business. I've got about 4,300 agents. Again, not on my own, um, but yeah, it's it's changed my life. It's I bought a house. I bought a car. I'm now buying a business in Lincoln, Nebraska, and that's we've got an RV. We're driving there tomorrow, um, so I'm going to be doing my trainings from my RV. Um, but yeah, like here, do you know, do what you love and stuff. So this is my um, my Instagram. Okay, let me share this with you. Um, a lot easier to grab these pictures. And see, you can just keep going through. I don't sell stuff. I offer hope, help, excitement. Um, you know, it, it, here, um, when you get offered a free cruise to Alaska, stuck between I need to save money and I only live once, okay? Um, the only BS I need in life is beach and sun. <laughs> I book flights. I book cruises. So again, guys, you know, use all these. Look at all these. I have so much here. Um, Hey there. Um, I decided I no longer want to be an adult. If anyone needs me, I'm going to be on the beach building sand castles. All right. So again, guys, um, all I can say is just stay plugged in. Let's have some fun. Attend as many live trainings. If you're in Vegas, we have an, um, an office here and we do um, trainings on Saturdays. So if you're ever in Vegas, check that out. Okay. Um, haven't posted a selfie lately, but I'm still very cute. Wanted to update you. <laughs> so again, share, share, share. Let's have some fun. Let's make money. Again, I get to announce my agent that just got to an executive. Yay. Right here. Look yourself in the mirror. Ask yourself, what do I want to do every day for the rest of my life and do it? And this is me and my kids in Hawaii here in Mexico. Uh, here we are. I think this was Seattle area. Okay. All right. So yeah, follow each other, guys. Uh, Tiffany, send me it and I'll follow you. Uh, join my team. And this is uh, back in Omaha. I'm from Omaha. There I am. Uh, is there family. anyone that can offer some help with um, posting or downloading the certificate? I'm having a hard time. I, I don't know if it's cookies or or what, but it's, it's telling me... Um, it's having technical issues or something. I'm having um, trouble as well. Go instead of downloading. Why don't you go to your email and and pull it up there? Oh, see if it's it should be there. Yeah, yeah. You'll get an email oh, with perfect. it right here. Yep. Oh, okay. Perfect. And you should be All able right. to then just save it as a picture. Awesome. Okay. So no mine's worries, not including then. Thank my you. name. Huh? Mine when I try to post it, it's not including my name or the date. So it's like completed. It's just like okay. length there. That's probably because when you went to register, you didn't put it in correct with your profile. So just no, it go shows my name. Like it shows completed, and then it has Michelle Walker. But then when I go to post it, it leaves it out. Okay. Um, I would just do a screenshot then, or or okay. do a right right click and save. My daughter okay. does the, these board door. What is it called? Anyway, the fancy um, kind of like glamour shots um there i am in disney for my birthday all right so yeah so save your certificate post it let's get out there and let people know you guys are specialists and let's have some fun okay uh remember i'm going to be posting here all of you should be part of evolution enterprises that is our company um so i post here so no matter whose team you're on you will find my post here as you see here, I post it right there. I post it down here. Don't forget, you can start late, start over, start scared, be unsure, try and fail and still succeed, okay? Booked a $20,000 cruise. Again, 
promote yourself. Let us know that you booked something. Let us know of your first booking. Let us know of your first agent. Let's celebrate together, okay? All right, guys, I'm gonna go because I still have a lot to do here. I gotta pack the RV, I gotta clean up, and I gotta bring one of my agents is actually gonna be living here at my house for the next two to three months, taking care of my fur baby. So I gotta go move her. So yeah, I got a lot going on, but I appreciate you guys joining me today. Stay plugged in. Tuesday, we'll see you for Utah. Tomorrow, I am gonna go in and finish California, I hope. <laughs> so join me there, 9 a.m. tomorrow. And um, let's have some fun, okay? We'll see you later. Again, if you want to catch up on some things, they're right here. Um, but yeah, California, we've done all these. So we're going to hopefully finish it. We've got a few more to finish. And then, um, and then, like we said, maybe you'll get a $350 uh, uh, suitcase or uh, luggage certificate, okay? You never know. That's why I always tell everybody, whenever you see us post, hey, Sandals is doing a training. Hey, uh, Bahama Paradise is doing a training. That's a cruise line. They got on and it was capped at 100 people. All of us got a free cruise. We had to answer two questions. That's what I took last um, October. I went on a free cruise. You pay poor taxes and fees, but still, guys, it's worth it. Okay. All right, so what we say is uh, you're in business for yourself, but not by yourself. And um, uh, if we don't see you at the beaches of the world, we'll see you at the bank. One more thing, did everybody sign up for their accountability partner? Because that's what I'm doing right now, okay? Um, if you have not, it is um, a program where I will match you up with two or three other people in your area. If it's something that you want, besides now, you, you besides having your mentor, your sponsor, you'll have other people to connect with, support each other, et cetera. So I'm gonna be matching people up now. So if you haven't filled out the form, please do so now. I will go ahead and put that post in here for you. Um, but yeah, otherwise I'll do it again next um next month okay i do i'm doing the training on the 25th again um but here is the link for that also if you want an accountability partner okay it's right here fill out this form so join our incentive voucher group join our accountability group and let's build your business okay all right guys have an amazing amazing day amazing weekend be safe and keep posting. I tell you guys, post, 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 because that's how you're going to get people to watch you and interaction. Um, you know, I asked, did you post? Yeah, I posted last week. No, you need to post three to five times a day. And again, it's so easy. This one right here, some facts about our amazing company. Post this. Let people know that we're number three in sales with Disney, that we're a platinum with the Clia that we sold over 80 million and we're one of the top 10 agencies in the USA, okay? Sell us, be out there, shout out, okay? So as you see, I post, post, post. I just I just throw it out there. Sometimes I put information, sometimes I just post and, and funny things, okay? All right, guys, have an amazing day. Thank you for joining me and I will see you either tomorrow or on Tuesday. Bye, guys.